Okay, so in this tutorial video, we're going to go over the most versatile field, which is actually the button field. And buttons can do many things. You can create a button to print the form, email the form, fax the form, do all kinds of stuff. So we'll look at that in a second. First, you should definitely create a button with a shape and some text on top of it. A, because you need the words so people know what the button's going to do. And the shape is something we're used to with forms because it indicates to us that it is a clickable area. So I always put a filled shape. Plus, it's going to look different and it's more noticeable than just these kind of stroked shapes up here. And so I made mine big so they're really easy to see. So I want people to have the option to be able to print the form or email the form if they signed it digitally. So I have a shape layer, then a text layer, and I actually want to create or um, highlight both of those and right click and choose group or control or command G. So now with that grouped, I can come over here to buttons and forms and choose to make this a button, which is at the very top. So now we need to give this a unique name. So I'm going to say print button. And then it's saying on release or tap, which means when somebody clicks and releases the button, what is it going to do? So now we need to have an action here. We need to choose what it's going to do so when somebody clicks on it. So I'm going to click down here and you can see that I can go to a destination. I can go to a first or last page. So this is how a table of contents work in like ebooks is we basically um, do some of these button navigation. Um, it can play an animation. It can go to a next state or to a page. It can show or hide buttons in forms. So if somebody said, I'm willing to chaperone a trip, and they click yes, then all of a sudden this will show. I could do things like that, but that's getting a little bit more advanced. So for right now, I actually just want to do print form. What you're probably going to do is print form, submit form, and then you're actually, sometimes you could do a clear form if you want people to do that, and then usually go to URL. So if you want them to go out to a website. So those are the most basic ones that people usually use. So I'll choose print form and it's going to just print the form. Now, one thing I do like to do with this is that this is what the button looks like in its normal state when the mouse isn't over it, but I do like it to change color when the mouse is over it so people know that this is actually um, functioning. So if I come over here, I'm going to click this button and choose the rollover state and it makes a copy of this green button but now what I want to do is I actually want to come in here and I'm going to double click in that group so I can change this to my alternate yellow color so again when it's hovered over it's going to turn yellow when the mouse is over it so people know that they can click it. So if you want it to change a different color when it's clicked you absolutely can do that too by just clicking on the click state and again, it duplicates that original button and I'm double clicking to get into the group. And now let's say I want the click state to be blue or there we go. All right. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to group these. So again, right click and choose group. Come over here and choose button name it a unique name so this is the submit or email button and on release I want it to where is it yeah submit form and what we need to do here is specifically type in mail to m a i l t o colon no spaces fifth grade at green lm dot edu so let's pretend this is a real class, but this email is going to go to all the fifth grade teachers at greenelementary.edu. So notice that I put mail to, no spaces, no capitals, there's a colon, no space between any of that, and then it has to be an email address. So this is very picky, so make sure that you're following those parameters. So again, I'm going to create a rollover option. And so again, to do that, I'm going to make sure I'm on that rollover state double click in the group so I'm just selecting the green shape change it to the same yellow create a click state and again double click into the group and change that to the blue okay so when somebody clicks this it is going to mail to and then you can see in the normal for some reason it didn't save my mail to 
fifth grade L, fifth grade at green lm.edu. So you have to hit like enter or return, but make sure because that's happened to me again and I'm pretty sure I hit return last time. So it must be something about creating these states. You have to create them first and then put the URL. So just double check yours to make sure that's not happening. So click to click to send by email to and I'm going to put the actual email in here because what happens if for some reason they can't send it, then they need to know what email this is going to so they can just save the PDF and send it as an attachment. So we'll go ahead and do that and we'll make sure that this is printable and we should be good to go. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to export this and then test it and then also look at the tab order.